A transportation network company TNC, sometimes known as a mobility service provider MSP, or ride-hailing service, is an organization that matches passengers with drivers via websites and mobile apps. TNCs are examples of the sharing economy and shared mobility. TNCs have been noted for providing service in less populated or poorer areas that are not regularly served by taxicabs, and charging lower rates than taxicabs. Since taxicab rates are often set by local jurisdictions, some reports say TNCs reduce traffic congestion, since their cars can't accept street hails, they do much less unnecessary driving around than either government licensed, regulated taxi cabs who are cruising for hails or individuals who are looking for a parking spot. A March 2016 study by Judd Kramer and Alan B. Kruger of the National Bureau of Economic Research showed that a ride via a TNC uses capacity more efficiently than traditional taxicabs as TNC drivers are more likely to have a passenger than a taxicab. TNCs say they provide flexible and independent jobs. For drivers, studies are inconclusive on whether TNCs reduce drunk driving rates in cities where they operate, with some studies showing that it depends on the city. TNCs have been banned in a few jurisdictions as courts have ruled that they are illegal taxicab operations. In others, they are regulated. Regulations can include requirements for driver background checks, fares, the number of drivers, licensing, minimum wage, and insurance. Topic. Definition and terminology In 2013, the California Public Utilities Commission defined, for regulatory purposes, a transportation network company as a company that uses an online-enabled platform to connect passengers with drivers using their personal, non-commercial vehicles. The Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles defines a TNC as a company that provides prearranged rides for compensation using a digital platform that connects passengers with drivers using a personal vehicle. Topic: Ride sharing. In January 2015, the Associated Press Stylebook, the collective that sets many of the news industry's grammar and word use standards, officially adopted the term, ride hailing, to describe the services offered by Lyft and Uber, claiming that, ride sharing, doesn't accurately describe the services since not all rides are shared and, ride sourcing, only is accurate when drivers provide rides for income. While the Associated Press recommended the use of, ride hailing, as a term, it noted that, unlike taxis, TNCs cannot pick up street hails. Criticism Increased traffic congestion TNC vehicles increase traffic congestion in some cities as they are constantly cruising waiting for customers. A report published by Shaller Consulting in July 2018 showed that traffic congestion increased as a result of TNCs, contrary to their claims. <laughs> Reduced usage of public transportation Studies have shown that TNCs have led to a reduction in use of public transportation. Topic: <laughs> Lack of wheelchair accessible vans. In some areas, TNCs are required by law to have a certain amount of wheelchair accessible vans (WAVs) on the road at any given time. This can be a difficult requirement for TNCs to meet because TNCs don't provide vehicles and most drivers do not own a WAV, causing a shortage. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Effect on values of New York City taxi medallions. In New York City, use of TNCs has negatively affected the values of taxi medallions, transferable permits or licenses authorizing the holder to pick up passengers for hire. After soaring in value after the Great Recession due to their perceived safety, New York City taxi medallions were again trading for around $170,000 each in 2018. Annual rental rates were $30,000. A couple of credit unions that lent money secured by medallions suffered from bank failure. Topic. 
Drivers using their phones while driving When a customer makes a pickup request, a driver is notified via mobile app and is provided the customer's location. The driver has approximately 15 seconds to tap the phone to accept the request. In 2014, Deborah Herzman of the National Transportation Safety Board criticized the 15-second system, saying that it presents a significant distraction to drivers, as drivers are financially motivated to respond to fares while driving. In response, Uber stated that drivers are not required to physically look at the device to accept a fare. <laughs> Notable companies <laughs> <laughs>